Hi, it's Graham Johnson again with Ludovic Altin and Michel Sanner. And today I'm going to show you how to install the Embedded Python Molecular Viewer plugin, in this case for Cinema 4D, but I'll show you the generic links uh, to help you install it for Blender or for Maya as well. If you're not familiar with what EPMV is, I've put up an introductory video on this YouTube site, so please check that out. And then come back here to find out how to install it. To begin, visit mgldev.scripts.edu slash projects slash epmv slash wiki. And that will bring you to our main page, which we'll be constantly updating in the coming months. And on the left, navigate to installation. And everything I'm about to tell you, you can follow along with right here but I'm going to guide you through it, especially if you're not familiar with using a console. To begin with, you need to download and install the entire Python Molecular Viewer software package, which is free, and it's going to become an open source project very soon. Uh, once you click that link, you'll be brought to mgltools.scripts.edu slash downloads, and you need to go to the nightly builds link which is linked to from that EPMV installation page, or you can link to it over here. Because you need the latest update. This is the non-stable release, but uh, releases that we're working on every day to be able to get up and running with the alpha version of EPMV. Choose your appropriate package for the, uh, for the operating system and the version that you use. In my case, I've got a version of Leopard, which is not Snow Leopard, but um, Snow is in parentheses because Leopard works as well. And I need the MGL Tools Darwin 9 1.56, which was built on November 5th, 2010. I'll click that, and it will begin downloading this tarball that on a Macintosh will unzip itself. That file will ask you to unload and install this package as a folder, MGL Tools I86 Darwin 9 1.56, which contains everything you need to run the Python Molecular Viewer. The main thing that you need to run it without having to open a console window is to open this folder called bin and scroll down to the file called PMV and just double click that. It will open a console window and that will start to run the Python Molecular Viewer itself. You'll see a splash page come up. This will open X11 on your system, which is a requirement if you don't already have that running, and will give you our lab's free Molecular Viewer that looks like this, where you can for example, do a lot of the similar things that you can do in EPMV on CRN. This will go to the web, download it, import the molecule into our system. We can make ribbon representations of the backbone, ball and stick representations of the lines, and color things by a variety of different methods. very similar to what we can do inside of EPMV because this is actually the engine that's running inside of EPMV. So with that installed and running you need to do one console application which is start a new terminal window and I'm going to step through this pretty slowly for people who are unfamiliar with using a terminal. In fact, I'll start from the beginning, which is to say on a Macintosh, go to Applications, and in your Applications folder, go to your Utilities folder, and in there you'll find a program called Terminal. Double-click that. By default, yours will probably have a white background, but 
the name of your computer and the name of your user ID will be on there with this dollar sign and you can start typing commands into this and again if you're having difficulty following any of this this is all I'm just stepping you through uh, the step-by-step -step guides that are on the installation page here so next if I read that guide I see that I need to navigate this terminal window to where my folder exists and if I look on my system for example I'll give you a visual version of what that looks like on I don't want to be in my user folder I want to be on the root level and I want to be in the library of the root level and I'll find this folder MGL tools i86 Darwin which in my case I told it to install into a father folder called MGL tools and it has this application bin but um, this folder could exist anywhere on your hard drive it could be in your downloads folder if that's where you told it to unzip and to run the installer for for uh, PMV but to navigate to that here in the terminal window I'm going to need to get out of my system folder I'm gonna need to get out of users which means I need to go up one level and into library to do that I by default start in the in my user folder I type CD dot dot which takes me up a level cd dot dot takes me up another level if I type list I can see all of the familiar folders that are on the root level of my hard drive one of those is called library so I type cd cd li b and then I can click tab and it will auto-complete for me ls I see that my MGL tools is here I type CD and case sensitive MG and that's enough to differentiate it from MA and tab auto-completes it ls and now I need to get into the correct folder that I uh, have the MGL tools application that's the latest version I have several of them on my hard drive 1.54, 1.56 with another software package I run and 1.56 which is specifically running the latest version of EPMV so again CD space MGL tools it auto completes uh, if I were to type a dot and tab again it would do the tar but I just want to get into the real folder not into the tarball ls and we need to navigate all the way into a host applications folder which exists MGL tools 156 MGL tools packages PMV host application interface again all the instructions for this are on this website but if you're following along so we need to go deeper find out where I am okay CD space MGL tools and I want to go into the package folder LS CD space PMV I believe yes capital P lowercase m tab ls that brings me really deep into this folder system and I need to go one more deep CD space host application interface okay then I come back to the website 
and I find that once I'm in the host application interface, I just need to run this little command line dot dot slash dot dot slash bin python sh install plugin dot py. This is the hardest part of this, and then you'll be up and running. So I copy that, I just paste it here, I hit return, and it opens up this little window. And I am installing Cinema 4D version 12. Uh, this is for older versions of Cinema 4D. That is only 11.5, and we have a special install procedure for that because that preceded the full release of the Python architecture. Um, the same procedure works for Blender and for Maya, but if I click on C4DR12, it auto-completes the path where I need to install the, uh, the little scripts that are the actual plugin for C4D. And then I just click install. And when I do that, you'll see this complete to 100%. And if you were to go deep into your user folder, into the library of your user folder, again, this is a different library than the one we were just in, which is on your root hard drive library. This is under my user folder library and preferences and then scroll down until you find Maxon you'll find the installation of your version 12 demo and if you open the plugins folder inside of there you'll find a new one called embedded Python molecular viewer that's EPMV with all the information that you need and that little script that you just ran through this terminal window should set up everything you need. When you restart Cinema 4D and you click on Python and you scroll down to plugins you should have a new entry here called Pi EPMV. Run that a few times if it doesn't work. Scroll down to your console this will open the Python console and it tells you what's occurring in inside of Cinema 4D's version of or uh, API wrapped with Python and uh, there should be some information with an error and if you don't understand what that means go ahead and select uh, or take a screen grab of it and email it to us so we can help you troubleshoot. Once you run the actual plugin, you click here, it will open up this window. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Python plugins EPMV. And I can make a new entry 1TIM and click fetch. And that takes a little while because it actually goes out to the web and downloads it and installs it on your hard drive. Once I've done that, we see a new entry in our familiar object manager in C4D, 1TIM. And if I turn off all this busy uh, waterfall of crambins in the background, select 1TIM in the foreground and turn on a ribbon structure, for example. We get that quickly and that simply a brand new ribbon model and I can colorize it by secondary structure, for example. Brand new model, all in a familiar format inside of Cinema 4D and you can build lights, etc., do animations and really sophisticated manipulations using a variety of other extensions that we have available as well as a variety of Python scripts we have available and I'll give you more information on each of those in the next tutorials.